Uh, there's there's so much music. There's so much good music that's mm -hmm. being produced and written out there that, that I think people are bombarded. It's hard to, you know, uh, uh, get somebody to listen to it just because there's so much good music out there. But there's not enough of that same good music being shared with everybody. Like you know, well, you have to go in, dig in a, in a and public find forum. it. Yeah, yes, you, have to, you have to dig for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Building. It has ten stories. And each story has ten apartments. And each apartment has a thousand stories. Say hello to yourself. Say hello to yourself. Say hello to yourself. Say hello to yourself. We're here with uh... Garth Brooks. No. Yes, I'm <laughs> taking time for my tour. Uh, we appreciate it. Great. Yeah, I'm Thank pretty you busy. so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, I get that a lot. Do you really? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's annoying. I'm no, not for you. No, I, I get Garth Brooks a lot, and I get Garth Vader a lot. Oh, nice. Which is nice. even cooler, but yeah. Uh, Garth Vader. I but it's like actually that. Garth Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. And you are, are a musician. musician. Uh, Extraordinaire. Uh, well, you know, I do what I can. Uh, there's a lot of good musicians in this town, uh, but I, I try and uh, carve out a little notch uh, in what I'm doing. Uh, now your band is the Repairman. Yeah, um, or at least one of them. Well, well, the, the Repairman—it's it, essentially me. Um, right. uh, but when we play out, I've got a couple other guys that I play out with, and sometimes we do it as a trio. Sometimes we do it as a duo. Um, uh, I like the just guitar and drum uh, mm -hmm. setup, so sometimes we like to play out like that. Um, a lot of it is me recording music and making videos and uh, uh, just trying to do my own thing. So you do it all yourself, so you play all the instruments yourself. I do. So how many instruments do you usually have in a song? It, it's it's your basic Beatles rock and roll setup, oh, yeah. uh, bass, guitar, and drums. I'll put a little keyboard in uh, now and then, but that's you know pretty basic that way. Um, amazing. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, do most of it in my apartment uh, when my wife's not around. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, yeah, the dogs don't seem to mind. What kind of software do you use? GarageBand. Uh, oh, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, do it. Wow. Do it with GarageBand, um, and uh, uh, th that's the Repairman. And mm -hmm. then Tin Drum is another band. I, I, I was. I guess we're going to play one of the Tin Drum videos today, which is which is great. Um, and that's me and Steve Hilson, uh, and um, uh, we've got a CD release show April 3rd at the Underground Music Cafe in St. Paul. Nice. Um, so we've got a new CD coming out there. So um, you're a non oh, I was saying this is CD number. This will be our third CD. Third CD. Oh, wow. you, you can you can download all of our CDs for free uh, on Reverb Nation, um, and that site. If you go to Tin Drum at Yahoo, uh, uh, that'll lead you to that other site uh, where you can download any of our music and. Um, uh, if you get a hold of me, I'll send you a CD for free. I've got I've got a closet full of them. your 
uh, what would you say your style is for those who haven't heard of you? Uh, the, the repairman is a little heavier. Uh, the repairman, I like to strip it down and um, very much, I, I guess, slow core would be the, the way I would describe it. Uh, a little heavier, a little more distorted guitar. Um, a lot of experimentation with that one. Tin drum is uh, unique in that it has a trumpet, um, trumpet, drums, cool. like guitar. That. And then we've got Ben Peterson, uh, uh, another local musician who plays plays out quite a bit. He plays saxophone and bass with us. So I'm sort of going or going back and forth between drums and guitar and singing, and then we'll loop the drums if I'm playing guitar. So it's wow. it's uh, it's it's kind of unique uh, when we play out live. Um, uh, come on out on April third and check it out. So your, your vocals, you got the, the growl. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've never really been, I've never really considered, my, no. I, I've never really considered myself much of a singer uh, um, in, in a classical sense. Um, uh, people like Bob Dylan inspire me, where, okay. where uh, uh, people who have that different uh, type of voice. But uh, I don't let it stop me. Um, I, I kind of go for something unique. Um, but yeah, I do all the singing, I do all the guitar playing, and all the recordings, I do everything but the And the trumpet. writing? Uh, the, the songs are, are, the repairman is all mine. Nice. Uh, the uh, 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 tin drum is pretty much all mine. So when you record your, for the repairman, you got to record each indiv each part individually, yeah. you put the tracks yeah. down, yeah. and you got to edit it and time it. How long does that process take? Oh, um, Sometimes um, uh, it goes quick, and sometimes it takes months. Um, Depending on the song, obviously. It, it does, yeah. Um. You can never go back. You can never go back. Movie keeps on repeating. Taking a beat in What will they say in a thousand years? What will they say in a thousand years? Lying in the lamp that we're destroyed months per song? Well, it, it can because I, I think I'll have it and then I'll listen yeah. to it and, and it won't sound right on a different stereo system. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that, you know, you, you'll listen to it in your car and you'll listen to it on a nice stereo yeah, system true. and then you'll listen yep. to it through your headphones. Mm -hmm. and you got to balance between those three mm -hmm. um, and try and get it right for whatever system. I think nowadays a lot of people are listening to it through the through the, the earbuds, yeah. um, which has a lot of compression on it. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try and get a good sound without compressing it too much, without Definitely. compressing all this. So that's kind of tricky. It's a fine balance. Uh, prior to doing this, uh, I was in other bands where we went into professional studios mm -hmm. and we spent a lot of money and spent a lot of time, and you, you get great results that way. Um, however, I, I sort of felt there was a homogeny there, um, uh, where, where the results were great, but not unique. Um, so I, I do it all myself these days. So you um, bring up an interesting concept. It's, it's a blessing now, in a way, for artists because you've got the software. You can just do it in your in your basement. You got a lot. You don't have to worry about spending yeah. thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. You, for what I'm doing, it's perfect. You, you've got you've got a lot of power uh, uh, with with 
very affordable software. Either way, um, I, I, you, you'd probably get a little better result paying thousands of dollars and having it, it, it done in a studio. However, I'm selling the same amount of CDs either way. <laughs> and, and this way, it's all mine, and I have full yeah, control, control over it. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe if I get to the point where I want to go back into a studio and do something, I will. But for right now, this is really working well for me. Um, I don't know if we're going to play this song uh, today or not, but there is a song on the website, and it's called Tube Amp, and, and you were asking about uh, how long does it take me yeah. to do a song. And that song I wrote and recorded in about 15 minutes. <laughs> that, that's an example of a song that just came to me. It's very basic, um, uh, and, I, I, and that's not to take away anything. I, I, no, I don't think so. I, I used to try and force myself to have a, a verse, a chorus, and a bridge, mm -hmm. and and you know, like the Beatles did. Sure. And um, I found that those songs ended up sounding very formulaic and sounding kind of odd. Uh, uh, tube amp um, doesn't even have a chorus. It's it's a, 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 a sort of just an A section repeated a couple times, and it's more about the sound okay. um, and, and uh, than it is about the form and the structure of the song nice. and, and perhaps about the words uh, but uh, I think it's something a little bit unique you know where it, where it came from me and uh, whether, I don't know if it's good or bad but it's unique uh, well, perhaps well what kind of songwriter would you describe yourself as I mean do you do you delve into life situations uh, personal I try to um, uh, that song was about my my tube amp, and 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 that's about it. And just how great a tube amp sounds compared to. Uh, I'm uh, sure a lot of musicians. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, associate um, with that. Uh, the, the 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 transistor amps are great uh, for a lot of reasons, but you don't get that tube amp sound, and everybody's you know heard the argument. And uh, and I have one tube amp. Everything else is transistor. And that's what I use a lot when I record, mm -hmm. and I thought it deserved a love song, so that was my love song <laughs> to my two man. <laughs> now, n not many other love songs. Oh, baby, baby, I love you. Come back to me. No, no, not so much. <laughs> uh, uh, not so much. Um, uh, thematically, um, wow, that's a good question. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I could put any labels on it. Uh, hopefully take the time to listen to it and check it out. There's there's so much music, there's so much good music that's mm -hmm. being produced and written out there that, that I think people are bombarded and it's hard to, you know, uh, uh, get somebody to listen to it just because there's so much good music out there. But there's not it. enough of that same good music being shared with everybody. Like, you know, well, you have to go in, dig in a, in a and public find forum. it. Yeah, yes, you, you have dig. to dig for it. Yeah, 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 I, I think so. Uh, uh, but thanks to YouTube and things like that, you know. Well, yeah, exactly. It doesn't take much to get you. It, it, it does, and I do get a, I do get a lot of hits on YouTube, and, and uh, it just kind of right. starts out very homegrown. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Paul Westerberg is a big hero of mine, mm -hmm. um, and just the whole concept of doing it yourself. 
um, uh, I think he's a great songwriter, and and just how how those guys did it from scratch and did it all all themselves, and uh, uh, I guess that's the ethos I'm going for. Uh, I, I've spent too much money with no returns, uh, so I'm just kind of doing. Well, that's the life of being a musician. Yeah, I mean, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah, you know, there's so many musicians out there yeah. that uh, they're not getting anything for their gigs. You know, you've got to spend all this money traveling to the gigs, your equipment, this and that. And you're not getting a lot of return. You do it for the love of it. I, I tell you, I'll tell you a story. Uh, uh, Cat Perkins, who yeah. maybe local, uh, mm -hmm. did very well uh, on, a, on a, a TV show last year and a local musician of Summer Down. But uh, I heard that she was playing out in, in Los Angeles, and you pay to play out yes, there. Yes, you do. You do? You, yeah, you don't get paid. You don't do it for free. Uh -huh. You pay them yeah. to yeah. use their stage. Yeah. I mean, that's how fierce the that's competition ridiculous. is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. So uh, um, uh, we try and play around at some local uh, coffee houses in any place Good. that love us. Yeah, because I was uh, I was recently in LA and I was talking to a couple band members and that was a, a very big topic for them because you know they're playing at the Whiskey A Go Go which yeah. is notorious. Yeah. You know it's been around for years and yet they're on the street selling their tickets and you know they're paying to play that wow. that venue. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder if we aren't at a spot. Uh, I I always think of. Uh, 1962, 1963, uh, BD, before Dylan, or before the, the Beatles, before that whole music system got uh, broken up and shattered. And maybe, uh, maybe in a way, we're at that spot now where uh, a lot of our music is sort of being handed down. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, but then there's a lot, of, a lot of local stuff if you just seek it out and, and look for it. Give the dog some love Scream like a harpy To the beard you got above Drive down the highway Make it rain lightning Burn up the tires Make it rain fire Where does it end? Where does it go? Into the wind, into the wind, into the wind But everybody screams Nobody knows Directions. Ask the hippie to the shifting sands. Grab your girlfriend, grab your surfboard. Grab the next wave to where the doggies play. Where does it end? Where does it go? Into the wind, into the wind, into the wind. But everybody screams, nobody knows. Into the wind, into the wind, into the wind. Thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for having me. Thank you, definitely.